Hello everyone, it is Bethany from Sophie Couture. Excited to be back this month with the August Butterfly Box. I wanted to show you guys, I really do love the theme of this one. It is something we needed to be reminded of in the days that we live in and as we're looking for Jesus' return. And that is the truth that we are only temporary residents here. Our home, our true home, hopefully for all of us and all believers is in heaven with our um heavenly father for eternity and this is just a temporary dwelling and so it can be overwhelming living in this world the way so many things are but knowing that we have a hope and a future and that just brings so much peace and comfort to me that we have a hope and a future in Jesus Christ and so the whole thing because of that is a travel theme you'll see some really fun things um, with that travel theme as well as we go through but I want to say a big thank you to Butterfly Box for sponsoring this video and I just hope that it will encourage you guys if you are interested in Butterfly Box they have subscriptions of different kinds of plans they have pass boxes if you've seen something and you head to my blog there's a link to my profile and you see pass boxes that you enjoy you can check them out and um if they're still available you can grab them now they're um giving me a coupon code to share with you guys for this month and it is Bethany half off so you spell that out, um, no numbers, and I will leave the code down in the description as well. But when you click the link, you can use that code. That will get you 50% off your first month's box um, a subscription, which is fantastic if you want to give things a try and just see how you how you like their stuff. You could definitely do that um, as well. If you have any specific questions I don't answer, just leave those down in the comments and I will get back with you as well. Now, I want to show you each card or each box will come with a card um, to give you a theme and kind of give you an idea of what to expect. This is Citizens of Heaven. I do like to read this top part to you so you know. It says it's important to be reminded that this is not our home and we are merely so sojourners, sojourners. I always say that word wrong. Passing through this earth, whether we are experiencing hard times or success, these reminders put our hope in the right place in Jesus and helps us keep the right perspective as we live our earthly lives. This box has been curated with some fun travel items to remind you that you are on a temporary journey and to keep focused on Jesus as you pass through this life as a citizen of heaven. So our true home, our citizenship is in heaven. And I pray that if yours is not, that if you are coming across this and you want to know more about God, that you dig deep, that you find a Bible, find a local church, find a friend, someone that can help you. And Lord, I pray right now, those that do not know you, I pray they know you, that they will come to find your truth, Lord, that they would become a citizen of heaven and join us that all that are unsaved, all the unbelievers will have their eyes open. Your will is for none to perish. And we pray that right now in Jesus name. If you want to reach out to me personally, please feel free. You can send me a message on social media um, or, you know, my contact info is usually down below. So, or on my blog, but anyways, I'll go ahead and we'll tie the end. I'll kind of show you what's in the box. I thought it would be fun this time to kind of have things laid out as if I'm kind of packing them in my little travel pouch that came with it. So we'll start with the one that's over here. This is a little travel David's premium natural toothpaste. Um, so this is a fluoride-free, sulfate-free, um, whitening, anti-plaque, fresh breath, peppermint, essential oil blend toothpaste, which I thought was really cool. Um, I love things like this and trying out different natural products, especially, and not having all the chemicals. And so I love that. It is more of a travel size. Um, not super tiny. It's actually larger, I thought, for than um, I was expecting for a travel size. So I do love that. Um, and I can't wait to try that out. I haven't tried it yet. And to go along with it, I thought this was so cool. A rejuvenating mask and moisturizer to restore, restore the skin's um, brightness. This one also is pretty cool. It is natural, vegan, conscience, core cruelty-free, I cannot talk today, guys, gluten-free, paraben-free, toxic-free, and so it's got a list of the, um, you know, what's in it and all, but you, um, it says use a thick layer and rinse it after 15 minutes two times a week, or um, you can use it as a thin layer and a daily leave-on moisturizer. Oh, so that's pretty cool that you could do it as a daily moisturizer if it's a thin layer, or you can do it thicker as a, um, at more of a mask, which I think I want to try that this weekend and see how that does do a little pampering. Um, but that's, I love that. And it is a smaller size too. So you could just easily throw that in your purse or your bag. Um, 
And this is really cute too. It says, will you be the hands and feet of Jesus? I love that little sentiment and reminder. And then as you open it, talking of hands and feet, you have a little mini um, manicure kit here with clippers and all sorts of different little tools. And all. so always think about if you are... Um, getting a box and you want to re-gift things in it, pass something along to someone that would, you know, just give them a little, you know, smile that day and brighten their day. Um, I love doing that. I think that's really cool to do as well. And you can break down the box or just gift the whole box to someone if you wanted. So keep that in mind. We have a little travel tag you could throw on your bag, on your luggage that says, I was lost, but now I'm found. And what a really just awesome way to plant a seed that if your bag and you have a piece of luggage going to the airport that is being picked up and this tag is seen in red, that it would plant a seed. And hopefully you could pray over that over your luggage and anyone that may come in contact with this would see this and would know Jesus. Um, so I love that. I love how you could do that. Of course, you can put your information. It's a, um, adjustable, but just think about things like that. There is power in that. So don't ever take the small things like that for granted. God will and can use all things. Um, you know, it will not go void. Now they had this really cute book in here. It's kind of like a travel pocket size book. 365 pocket prayers for women, guidance and wisdom for each new day. And um, so there are little readings. You've got a, um, at the top, it'll say what your theme is going to be. You also see that down at the bottom. And so this is a prayer about confusion. When I'm uncertain about the future, you've got a prayer there and then a scripture. I love that, that these are prayers. So you could stick this on your nightstand, have it in your bag of your traveling, take it with you, and you would have that. So you know, one thing I think is really important is when you first wake up in the morning, having that attitude of um, putting your perspective on Jesus, on the Holy Spirit, you know, saying good morning and having that intimate relationship and taking that time to make it a priority before you ever even think about getting on social media or getting distracted with all the things you have to do that day, things for the kids, breakfast, school, um, a busy meeting, you know, that you're trying, you need to maybe prepare for at work that day. Take these few minutes. It will take you no time to read this and go through it and just simply read it, say a prayer and recognize that, you know, God is supreme and he is over your life and he will guide your steps that day. And keeping that perspective, I think makes a big, big difference, especially I know it does for me. So there's all sorts of topics. It has that short little prayer there, like I said, and then a scripture reading at the bottom. Um, I would say you could search by the topics at the top. Um, let me see. And you can, I, I wanted to make sure here's a topical index. So perhaps you don't want to go through it in the order. If you do, you could, you would have the days, you know, and you could mark it and go each day. But let's say that, you know, that one I read about, uh, confusion. I don't know where it's at right now or attitude. Maybe that's not something that you, you necessarily think you're in, you know, confusion, that you're not necessarily in the middle of something like that, that topic, you definitely could go back here, find something that day that you're specifically letting go. That just jumped out at me. Letting go, day 234. Flip to that page, go read that one and let it nourish and um, speak to you for that season or whatever it is that you may be um, in. And then, you know, maybe there's something about patience here and you think, oh, I don't need that. Or, which I think we all do, or if there's a prayer about loss and you're thinking that, you know, that's not a season I'm in, I encourage you, if you do go in order, don't skip, read it anyways, because it plants a seed there and you never know what situation you may find yourself in fatigue or success. You never know. And that could be a reminder um, to you as well. So I love that little pocket prayer book. And then they always include a Bible study or a devotional. This one is called, we are just passing through, but our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, Philippians three twenty, And, um, it's got the same fun flower theme and the little airplane buzzing through. Um, and so this will, um, tell you a little bit about the author and um, she also has a podcast. So you can kind of check that out. And then um, there is also, I won't show it because I want to respect um, Butterfly Box as well. But there is also a QR code included in here that will take you to a digital 
um, online teaching that will go along with the devotional. That is something that Butterfly Thoughts is hoping to be able to do every month as an just extra bonus added resource. Also a way I think it would help because if you're going through it, keep you kind of accountable, help you if you're needing any, any help there with the study. And so that's something that's included. Um, now I want to show you kind of where we're, where this is going. You got eternal treasures, um, scripture, reflection questions, some notes. And so one thing I'll tell you that I really like about this is that there is not a ton of devotional content, which I'm actually really happy about because there's a few things. How do we become a nowhere citizens of heaven? And so that would walk through someone like, um, through salvation and, and being saved. But I just, I kind of like that there's not a lot of that extra because it makes you find, you know, this scripture, Hebrews 11, go through it and, and put your notes and dig deeper into it and not just being spoon fed, which is really important. So I've wanted to encourage you with that um, and, and make sure you saw that. Now, this little travel pouch, I think it's so cute. I do love the pink and the orange colors. It is a canvas, it's thick. Um, it has the little um, clip-on ring there, or clip-on, so you could put that on like on a little hook inside your purse, um, and a beach bag, which would be amazing. Any kind of travel bag to throw in, like your if you're on the plane, your AirPods, um, you know, things like that, a snack, whatever it may be. Um, put it in your beach bag for your phone, um, of course, AirPods again, anything small, some chapstick, things like that. And um, I just love that. I think that's really cute, which of course you could use it for pens, pencils, whatever you wanted to do with it. And so I did like also how the bottom opens up. So that does give you a little bit more thickness and room and it also will stand. So I think that's pretty cute. You could even use this as like a little pen stationary journaling bag and have post-its and things in it. Um, and so I do like that because I, it gives you more space and it also will stay in too, which is cool. Now, I want to tell you Butterfly Box every month, they do a ministry like partnership where they do a percentage to that partnership. And so this little butterfly and bag was included in the box as just a little fun free thing. It's got a magnet on the back. Um, and this is Miracles for Margaret. And so this is just talks about the story behind that ministry. This is always included in there, some contact info, how you can, um, you know, be a part of that and donate if you want. Um, so if you do look into that. You can also go look them up online, I'm sure. Go on Butterfly Box's website and they may have more information about them too. But I do appreciate that they um, that they do, you know, take a percentage each month and, and support a, a, a ministry. It is a Christian faith-based company, a small business. Um, and so I do love that um, that aspect of Butterfly Box and that so many fun little goodies show up, but also encouraging things for your soul, for your heart in these times. So like I said, they do have different subscription plans if you want to check it out. If you want to gift one to someone and have it sent to them, you can do that too. Just when you click the link below in the description, make sure you use the code down below, Bethany Half Off, all spelled out. And that is for 50% off your first subscription box. If you want to give things a try, you can check it out, see what you like, um, and go from there. But if you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Um, as always, it's such a pleasure to be able to come and, and pray and speak with you. Hopefully encourage your heart more than anything, more than any item I show you. I just want you to be encouraged and to know Jesus. So if you have anything that you need, prayer request, questions, um, anything like that, Please don't hesitate to reach out, message me on social media. You can comment down below, email me, however um, you is best for you. So I will see you guys again very soon. Make sure you're subscribed, click the bell icon for notifications, and I'll be back very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.